हाउ टू सेंड ई मेल इन ईस्पी डॉट नेट एम वी सी सो लेट स्टार्ट नाउ इन साइड द वेब डॉट कॉन्फिक फाइल आई बी एडिंग द मेल सेटिंग्स इन ऑर्डर टू एड द मेल सेटिंग्स आई एम मेकिंग यूज ऑफ सिस्टम डॉट नेट सेक्शन then inside that i am creating a node mail settings then within that another node smtp first the delivery method attribute is set to network and in the from i am setting the address of the sender and the network node has the following attributes host which is the mail server domain port which is the port number of the mail server enable ssl which has value true or false depending whether your mail server supports ssl or not username and password which is required for authentication and default credentials which has the value default set to true now in case of gmail the username and the password is your gmail email and the password will be your gmail password or your two step verification password which you have generated in case your gmail account has two step verification enabled now let's move to the email model class here i'll be creating some properties so the very first property is to the second one is subject the third one is body now let's move to the view now i'm creating a form using mvc html helper methods i am making use of begin form method it accepts three parameters the first one is name of the action result method which is index the second one is name of the controller which is home and the third one is the type of call in this scenario it is a post call now inside these brackets i'll create a html table and within the html table i'll place my fields the very first field is to which is the recipient of the email and in order to create a text box for this particular field i am making use of text box for helper method of the html helper class of mvc the next text box is for subject of the email then the third text box is for the body of the email for that i am making use of the text area for helper method of the html helper class and finally i have a button which when clicked will send the email message now let's move to the controller now we'll start by adding the namespaces system.configuration then system.net then system.net.configuration then system.net.mail now i'm creating an action result method inside the controller this particular method will handle the post calls that is when a particular form is submitted using a submit button the values will be received by this particular method as you can see here i am accepting email model class object first the smtp section is defined which is used to fetch the mail settings from the smtp section of the web.config file then an object of mail message class is created to which the from and the to email address is passed then the subject of the email is set then the body then we specify whether our html email body is html or non html 
If it is HTML, then the variable is set to true. And if it is a text email, then it is set to false. Then an object of SMTP client class is created. Here we set the host. Then enable SSL. Then the network credential object is created where we specify the username and password of the mail server. Then the default credentials value is set which is also read from the SMTP sections of the web.config file. Finally, the network credentials are set into the credentials property of the SMTP class. Then the port number is set. And finally, the email is sent using the send function. To the send function, we pass the mail message object. Once the message is sent, a confirmation message is set in the view back object. Here I am decorating the method with the HTTP POST attribute. Now let's move to the view. So the first thing I am adding is a condition whether the view back object is null or has value. The JavaScript function will be rendered only when the view back is not null. Now inside the script tag, I'll be making use of window.onload event handler. This particular event handler is executed when the page is loaded in browser. Now inside the event handler, I am making use of JavaScript alert function. And then using the reserve syntax, I'll be assigning value of the viewback object to the alert function. Now when the email is sent, the success message will now be displayed in the alert message box. So with this we complete our programming part and now it's time to run our project and see it in action as you can see the text boxes and the send button is now visible now i'm putting recipient email then the subject of the email then the body of the email and i'll be clicking the button now it is displaying the message with this we come to the end of this video today we learned how to send email in esp.net mvc Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.